you may wish to watch the videos on string slicing that precede this particular video in the playlist as this video is going to be using the concepts behind string slicing and we're going to have a look at a couple of programs to show how we can reverse a string before a recommendation as the best way in which we can achieve the reversal of a string in Python. But we're going to start off by looking at this computer program here. And what we can see, the first line is alphabet str underscore string equals, and we can see it equals all of the upper case letters in the English alphabet. And we have a number of ways in which we can think of this being indexed in Python. And one of them is reversed index, where the Z is regarded as being in the minus one position. And because there are 26 characters here, this one is going to be in the minus 26 position. So when this particular line executes, what we're going to get is this string. And you can see it's indexed from minus one all the way through to minus 26. Now if we go on to the next line, you can see it says reversed string equals alphabet string. And here in brackets, we've got three numbers. Now the first number, the minus one, well that's responsible for showing where the start of the slice is going to be taken from. And that's going to be taken from this index position, i.e. the position of Z. This minus 27, well that's going to mark the stopping point where we don't go as far as, as shown by this green bouncing X. So we don't go as far as that. Now, in truth, if you look at this string, there is nothing at position minus 27. The string stops at minus 26 index. But the point is, this is just a conceptual schematic diagram. So the minus 27 actually is showing the minus 26 is as far as you go. So that a will be included in the string now this minus one simply means that we're going to read the string in this direction i.e z y x w because the minus one means you go from minus one to minus two to minus three to minus four all the way down to minus 26 consequently the string that you take will be this one here so when we now run the program this is the output we'll get. And this line, where we print the alphabet string, produces this. And this line, where we print out the reversed string, which was worked out on this line, is printed by this print statement here. And we can see it's reversed. Now, this computer program also reverses the string. It does exactly the same as the previous program in terms of its functionality it reverses a string the trouble with the last program we looked at I knew the length of the string in advance so I was able to put in minus 27 and minus 1 as the numbers that were going to mark the start and the stop of the actual string but in reality most strings you would be manipulating a program would come from a file and you wouldn't know the length so what this program does it works with the same string and we know what that length is but what's happening here is the program is actually going to work out what the length is. I won't have to put in minus 27, for example. So if I was to alter the length of the string, this program would still work. It wouldn't matter whether I added characters to the string or took them off. This program would reverse that string regardless as to its length. And this is achieved because if you look at this line, this function finds the length of the alphabet string and assigns that to the string length. So when we now let the first line of the code run, what we will get, we will get this string and you can see it is reversed indexed. So this minus one points to where we start taking the string. Now this lot, well, this is a calculation that appears here. And we can see that this string length we know is 26, we add one to it to make it 27, and of course this is minus, so this is minus 27. And of course if the string was a different length, this would be a different number, but it's minus 27. 
now what that means we will have this bouncing x here saying don't go as far as the minus 27 so this calculation actually is responsible for choosing minus 26 and of course here we can see we've got minus 1 and that means we are actually going to read the string in this direction consequently this is the string that's taken and you can see that has worked exactly the same as the previous program so when we now see the output of the program we can see here that the string has been reversed let's now consider this computer program and it's an amendment of the one we've just observed and the difference is if you look I have put this function here that's responsible for finding the length of the alphabet string as part of the calculation inside the square brackets here which is how we take slices of strings so if we look at the first line we know that's going to produce this string here this minus one is going to mark off the start of where we take the slice from and this lot is the calculation and of course the length of the alphabet string is going to return 26 we add one to it to give 27 this is a negative so all of this is minus 27 so this bouncing x that's appearing marks where we don't go as far as so all of this calculation is responsible for locating the end of the string that's going to be taken which is the a at minus 26 and of course we now have this being minus 1 which means we go in this direction and of course this is the slice we take and when we run the output we can see here that the string has been reversed now the programs we've just looked at have sliced the string and the way in which we set up the slicing it was able to reverse the strings now that's all well and good and hopefully you found it good practice but if you want to reverse a string of any length don't do it the way in which I've just outlined previously just simply use this simple approach here you can see the first line and what that's going to do is going to produce an alphabet string and straight away what I want you to note is I haven't indexed this string in any way because this line here is saying reversed underscore string is assigned alphabet string and if you look at the square brackets you can see I've got two colons and here we would normally have a number here we would normally have a number and they would respectively mark the beginning and the end of the positions from which we take the slice and this minus one would indicate we're going in the minus one direction as illustrated by the previous programs in this video and the previous ones on slicing in Python now this is simply the quickest way to reverse a string don't worry about this and what it's pointing to just remember if you want to reverse a string you use these two columns and this negative one and the string is reversed and if you don't believe me let's have a look at the output and you can see here the string has been reversed we didn't have to worry about the length of the string where we were starting where we were stopping you just have to put those two columns and the minus one how simple is that check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and get an automatic update every time I upload a new video also consider subscribing to the Google Plus circle that relates to these videos